Um, very quick show of hands, if anyone's listening right now, um, who lives their life without a television. Yes, life without TV. Funny old one, isn't it? Um, Welsh singer and BBC broadcaster C- Cerise Matthews has written an article about her life without TV. She said not owning a TV is so liberating. Mm, boring. I know. <laughs> We don't have a TV in our house because my children haven't grown up with it. They don't know any different and don't miss it. Your children are being bullied because you don't have a TV and they're standing out at school as freaks. Yeah, they're watching The Voice at their friends' houses or, you know, like in those old movies, through the windows yeah. of electronic stores. <laughs> which you standing out in front of a Harvey Norman. <laughs> You're making your kids different. I hope you're happy. That's oh. the worst thing you can do. She must have had a bad relationship where all he did was watch the TV. Oh, you're blaming it on a man no, who doesn't what? even exist. This is the next level for you, Kate Ritchie. <laughs> what I'm saying is she's obviously woken up one day and I can't do this anymore. I cannot do it. Oh, you don't talk to me. This relationship is is in tatters because of the TV. How patronising is this? This is, this is what kills me about these type of people. It might be too extreme for many families. Well, no, it's not. <laughs> It's not too extreme. Marty, you're, you're getting very defensive. Oh, just, you know, these holier-than-thou people that think because they've done one thing in their life, they've cracked the code. So you don't watch telly. Yeah. <laughs> Bore. I really would recommend <laughs> trying a gradual reduction and replacing TV with group activities such as board games. Kill me oh, if I'm games. playing Scrabble at 7 o'clock on a Tuesday. Hey, Marty, you want to come over for Connect Four? Because I can't watch the grand final. I don't have a telly. Oh, my God. <laughs> Could you imagine? It's grand final day and you're sitting down to play Monopoly with your kids. <laughs> oh, Karen's bought Mayfair again. Oh, I don't care I got, who's winning. Oh, I got old Kent Road again. <laughs>